All right, my people, this is a 2013 uh, Kia, Kia Hybrid, as you can see. Feel me? I don't give a fuck about showing my license plate, man. My license plate is there, it is, it is. Public information, what you gonna do? Um, hybrid EX, or whatever. Um, the reason why I'm showing this is because of the title of the video, man. Don't, don't have a car payment, man. This car is paid off. Now, I've got so many compliments on this car. Let me show you the interior real quick. Feel me? It's leather interior. Don't mind this. This is easy to replace. Cheap. I got to replace this. Remember, it's 2013, so obviously wear and tear happens, but leather interior, um, electric seats or whatever. Everything's electric, man. And again, it's paid off. Okay? So, give me one second. So, don't go out there trying to keep up with the Joneses. If you don't own your own business, you can't write off your car payment. You know what I'm saying? You should not have a car payment, especially if you don't own your own home, you know what I'm saying, you're under the age of 30, you know, you're, you're still saving money, you don't have a family yet, there's no reason why you should have a car payment, you know, there's a lot of dudes that are obsessed with these charges and these these hellcats or whatever you want to call them, and uh, they really can't afford them, you know what I'm saying, they live in paycheck to paycheck, and why do that, to impress a female, to impress your homies, to impress other dudes, to get looks when you, when you stop at a light? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I get plenty of compliments. I used to do Uber. I did Uber probably like a three, four years ago. I used to get tons of compliments. Even still today, I get tons of compliments. People don't know what year this is. They think it's a newer year. And again, this is a 2013 paid off. I'm going to ride this car to the wheels fall off, getting the struts done, the shocks, whatever needs to be done to it. You know, I've gotten a new engine and transmission put in about a year and a half, two years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's still going. It's still running fine. I'm going to get a tune up in a couple months new tires, you know, upkeeping. Imagine if this was an, imagine if I had car payments. Imagine if this was a 2024, 2023, 2022 Kia and I had to do those things, replace the strut shocks or whatever, or, or a tune up, you know, new tires on top of my car payment. It's ridiculous on top of a mortgage. Cause you know what I'm saying? I, I own a home. I would be struggling. Why struggle? Why struggle? I'd rather drive a hoopty, a bucket and be able to take vacations. You know what I'm saying? Once or twice a year. Be able to be fresh all the time. What would you rather have? What do you think females would, would, would rather you have? You rather have a nice whip and wear the same thing every every day? Or every time she sees you? Or you only got one or two good outfits? Or you're just a straight up bum? Or you rather be fresh? Have an amazing, authentic sneaker collection with, with good clothes, nice clothes. And you hopping out of, out of an average car. Maybe even a hoopty. Listen. I used to pull. I used to still pull women when I was driving my piece two-tone color Honda. Back in like 20, this was like 2016. 2015, 2016 till 2017, I got rid of it. But I was pulling. I was pulling with me. I was fresh. I had a good sneaker collection. I had clothes. Not as good as it is now, but it was decent. I had a lot of outfits. You know what I'm saying? I had a good mouthpiece. I had game. I knew how to spit game. I knew how to make women laugh. The car didn't matter. So you got to understand, if you have a bucket and the woman that you're dating or interested in you, you'll go out and you say, you know what, can you drive or you drive or whatever, or maybe you don't, you meet each other there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't pick her up, you meet each other. And then she likes you, she gets to know you eventually. It doesn't matter what you drive. If you two are going to an event, you're going somewhere nice, she's bringing you to a wedding, she's bringing you to a cookout, um, a friend's or a family's party. How you present yourself, can you dress nice? Can you afford to, to have a nice clean, get a clean edge up? Can you afford? Some dudes struggling with their car payments and their, their rent and everything, they can't even afford to get a haircut all the time. I'm pretty sure you know some dudes. How many dudes you see beard all scruffy, hairline all scruffy, just looking homeless? Not because they don't wanna get a haircut, but because they can't afford it. They gotta wait till next paycheck or the paycheck after. Listen, if you have clean clothes, if you're well put, you have nice skin, nice haircut, edge up, smelling good a woman doesn't care what you drive as long as you presentable know how to talk to, to people and represent her well when she brings you to certain events who cares about the kind of car you drive there are a lot of dudes man under the age of 30 under the age of 25 driving hellcats and and beamers and benzes and they still renting how are you driving a luxury car making car payments and you're still renting now, for the people that say, oh, well, I'll just lease. I want to lease. Why would you help the dealership? Why would you help the dealership make money three, possibly four times off of the one vehicle that you're leasing? 
Some people, I guess, just don't care, man. But you got to think. Just just think about it. If you're not thinking, just so you know. If you lease a car, you're eventually going to turn it back in, whether you want something new or you just don't like it anymore. Now they're going to lease that to somebody else. Now they're going to lease it to somebody else to some point. Now they're going to finance it. They don't flip that car so many times. They make so much money. And this is why car dealerships don't want to work with people. When people say, oh, is there any way you could fix the price? No, a dealership, a dealership doesn't mind if a car sits on a lot five, six months. They don't care. They will not go down on a price because they know they could flip that car multiple times if they get a sucker. Don't you be that sucker. And if you have been that sucker, you need to bring that car back, man. Bring that car back. Go buy you a hoopty. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Who cares what people think? So a lot of you people are driving Beamers and Benjes because you saw somebody else with it. Somebody else that's doing better than you that can actually afford it. Now, listen, I'm going to say this. Just because you can afford it and maybe you're not living paycheck to paycheck, unless you're up to say, unless you're able to save $500 to $1,000 a week, you should not have a car payment. I'm going to say that again. Unless you can save $500 to $1,000 per paycheck, you should not have a car payment. You're not saving. What is the point in driving in this nice car, nice car that you eventually got to get new tires and, you know what I'm saying, get work done to it? And you're not saving any money. Especially if you have a girlfriend, especially if you want to go on dates and take people out, especially if you want to treat yourself to a nice pair of sneakers to a dinner here and there. It all adds up. Even grocery shop, Let's Let's just say, oh, you know what, I'm going to cut all that out and I'm going to cook at home. It still gets expensive. It still adds up. Especially if you have a fast metabolism, if you're eating three, four meals a day, don't let you want to be in the gym trying to trying to put on size and you got to eat more. Don't be stupid, man. There are plenty of people that have videos specifically talking about cars and car payments and why you shouldn't get one. This is just a topic I want to talk about because I actually had conversation with people that and saying, you know, I don't know why I got this car. This car payment is killing me. It's outrageous. And there are a lot of people complaining on TikTok. My girlfriend's TikTok, so sometimes I see it. Complaining about car payments. There are people getting their cars repoed, man. There are people getting arrested because they want to fight the, the uh, repo man and fight the police officers. I just seen a video the other day. Skinny little, scrawny little punk. Look like he weighed 120 soaking wet. Talk about some. Will you taking my car? Will you taking my car? Will you taking my car? Fighting the police, fighting the repo man like a damn fool. Now you got now not only do you have to figure out how to get your car back out of repo if you can even afford to get it back because you're more than likely backed up on payments and you have to pay the towing fee and you have to pay the towing lot. Now you got charges. Now you got a record for what assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, obstruction. Come on, man. What are you doing? This is what happens. This is what happens. And you got to understand, man, a lot of these dudes act off emotions, man. They don't think before they act. So they see that car going up on that on that, on that tow bed, and they just want to, what, give me my car, put my car down now. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Knowing, they, knowing you couldn't afford the car in the first place. You were living past your means. You're backed up on two months worth of car payments. Why are you fighting a repo man when you're backed up? That is not your car. You don't you don't own it. Now let's say you are upkeeping with your car payments, your finance, everything is up to date, and they come tow your junk. Yes, you have the right to get mad, but at the same time, you don't own it. You're financing, you're still making payments. Can't nobody take this away from me and my lady. This is paid off. This is ours. We're gonna ride this till the wheels fall off. We're gonna do whatever we have to do to maintain this vehicle. And yes, I am in Connecticut. I'm on the East Coast. So we do get bad snowstorms. When it gets cold, if the snow gets bad, I may have, I'm probably not, I'm definitely going to have to get an SUV. And you know what? Cash. Cash. No lease, no finance, straight cash. Give me it. It's mine. All I got to worry about is car insurance. That's it. Because I am surrounded by a lot of hills. And, and last year, there was at least one or two snowstorms. I couldn't even make it up my hill to get to my street. I had to wait till the plows came. And I don't want to deal with that again, man. Working a, a hard day at work, a long day at work, and now I can't even get up my hill. I got to rest my eyes in the car and wait for a snow a snow plow to, and then follow by in the snow plow. No, I'm not doing that. So unfortunately, yes, I do need an SUV this winter. But I'm not leasing. I'm not financing anything. I'm not no damn fool. Why do you put myself in more debt? I still have a mortgage to pay. Some of my house is paid off. 
get, uh, finance another car, lease another car is more debt. You're renting, if you are renting an apartment, you're paying that person's mortgage. So you want to rent, you're paying rent. Now you want a car payment, it's more debt. This is not a, a credit help channel or a channel to talk about credit and finances, but a lot of you people got serious credit card debt. That same number keep calling you, you keep blocking it, but it calls again from a different number. You know what just happened to me this morning? I woke up and $1,000 was out of my bank account. And I was like, what is this? I didn't expect that. I I don't, see, I don't believe in keeping all my money in a bank, but I keep just enough to take care of the bills. And I saw $1,000 come out, so I had to look it up. You know what happened? I owed, I owed debt. I owed credit, somebody, a credit company credit. So they took out their $950 or $900, and then my bank charged 100 or something for a processing fee. It was like a little over $1,000. I didn't know what it was for at first. I called the company, figured out what it was. And I was like, it is what it is, man. I owe, I owe the money. But I'm, I'm slowly clearing my debt. I don't have much more. I probably got maybe like one or two, one or two things I got to get rid of that are not crazy number. And a lot of these, a lot of these debt collectors, they will, they will settle for less than half if you call them. You can even make payments whilst for settling less than half. You don't have to pay it all at once, lump sum. But just people just want pile on debt, pile on debt, pile on debt. And the worst thing about that, they want to come to social media and complain. Oh, my car got taken away. Oh, these car payments are outrageous. Oh, the car payment with car insurance. How can I afford to live? How can I afford to eat? How can I afford this? How can I afford that? Humble yourself. Humble yourself. How? Before I go, let me talk, let me talk about these females, man. Because females are, are more high maintenance. The average female, especially melanated female, is more high maintenance than the average White man, Caucasian man, melanin man, Spanish man, however you want to say it. You know why? Because a lot of these women, they get their sew-ins or their weaves and they pay for these wigs, their hair done. Their... I was looking up the other day. I didn't realize how expensive it is for real human hair. Not just, you know what I'm saying, the cheap $45, $100 hair, but real human hair. And this is not included installation. Some of this real human hair ranges from like $200, $250 to $500, depending on how real it looks. And just because it looks real doesn't mean it's going to look real with a lot of these females hair head that they put it in in their skin, but they do it anyway. But that's besides the fact, but you're paying that for the hair. Then you're paying for installation. Then you want to get eyelash. Then you want to get your, your feet, your hands done, your fingernails done, your toes done. And then you got to worry about car payment, car insurance. I see why these chicks are doing only fans. I see why I see why they're scamming dudes and setting up dudes. I see why they're doing it now. It's super expensive if you want to be a high-maintenance female. I see why these chicks on YouTube doing thirst traps, creating thirst trap channels with try-on hauls. Workout videos, oh, every workout video is a glute. Your butt is shown in every video. I see why. Doesn't make it right, but I see why they're doing it. But you can't be a sucker. Listen to me as a man. Don't be a sucker and date one of these females that are that are doing all this stuff, that are high-maintenance, paying all this for their hair, for their nails, their feet, their eyelashes, got a car payment. Don't get one of these females. You're just going to add more debt on yourself. Don't do it. Even if you're not in debt, don't don't make her debt your debt. And don't add on to your debt with her debt. Don't do it. Get a chick who who humbled herself, who who is driving a hoopty or is driving an older car that is paid off that she has no car payments. All she has to worry about is her cheap car insurance. And she's saving money every week. That's the type of female you dudes need to get with. And this is the type of stuff you need to do as a man, man. You don't need a car payment if you don't own your business, if you don't own your own home. If you don't own your business, if you don't own your own home, you do not need a car payment. Plain and simple, especially in today's economy. I'm going to leave it at that, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love.